Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Donnie and today's video we'll be solving for x for this equation above over here. So the first step, we have to understand that we have to apply the Labrador W function to solve this. And to apply the W function, we need to get inside this format where we have a y at the bottom and a y at the top. And the y could be anything, it could be x squared, but they have to be the same. You need to have an x squared on the bottom and x squared on the top. So two things have to be the same and you must have this e term. Now, once you have this scenario, well, it could just be simplified to a singular y term, right? And after, you'd be equal to some w function, which the w function you could think of as a lawn or a log or something like that. And the branch number will be explained later on in the video. So first, we have to get inside this format over here. So the first step requires us to bring this on the other side. Then we're going to divide it. By dividing, we acquire this and we're going to rearrange it over here. So we have a negative 3 over here. Then the next step is by applying this little trick where we could introduce an e term, right, by this way where we could take an x equal to e ln x and we could apply it over here. Now once we apply, we acquire this. Now this would become a multiplication. We have minus 3 multiplied by ln of x, right? Then we're going to multiply by 3 on both sides. And now we can apply this formula over here because we have something on the bottom that's the same on the uh, same as the one on the, on the top and we have an e over here. Right, so we can apply the Lambert function. So we apply it, and after this gets simplified, right, just a singular y. So our y was negative 3 ln x, and it's going to be written over here, and we have w in, uh, inside of 3. So now we divide by negative 3 on both sides. Then we're going to raise e to, on both sides. This gets canceled out, and we left off with this. Now we're going to be explaining the branch number. So here's our equation. And the value that we're putting inside the equation is 3, right? So now let's go to the graph. So this is a graph of the Lambert W function. So here this is branch W0. And branch W0 is this orange line, okay? So this is whole orange line is W0. Now branch W-1 is this green line over here, right? Because you can see over here, it goes all the way to the bottom over here. Okay, and x equals to 3 is this line over here, this pink line over here, okay? And after... The asymptote is this blue line over here. Now, to identify how many real solutions we have, we got we got to know this, right? So case one, is our value over here greater than zero? And yes, it is. So we're going to have one real solution. And here are the other cases. So basically, if we had a value between the asymptote and zero, then we're going to have two real solutions. And if case one or two are not satisfied, then we have no real solution. So basically, our, it's basically in our scenario, it's case one. So basically we write w of 0 and we replace a 1.0499, which is from the graph. We solve for it and that's our answer to this question. So please leave a like and subscribe and I hope you guys have a wonderful, great day.